welcome to Barnes. My name is Emma and I'm the Town Centre Manager here and my job today is show you a little bit of our fabulous village. Barnes is nestled in the top of the borough um, by Hammersmith Bridge and um, even though we are fairly isolated from London at the moment with the closure of the bridge, we still bring in people because of our fabulous foodie credentials. In addition to a wide range of independent offerings, we also have some fabulous food restaurants and some uh, fabulous independent shops. So today I'm going to introduce you to a few of these retailers and uh, let's go and meet Sunny, who's the owner of the Barnes Pantry. So this is our lovely store. We start with our fresh orange juice, that's very popular. We do quite a lot of panettones, bonifanti, boli, vegan. We source our products from quite boutique suppliers, like very small suppliers. So we have a quite a big, nice niche selection of wines. We go vegan, organic, from all over the world. Cordials, wines, German beers, Italian beers, French beers. Because of the more environment friendly, we try people to have more bring your own bottles, fill it up like a filling station. We get quite a lot of products which are from Spain, France, Italy, British, which you won't get in normal supermarket. And then we do our own in-store bakery, which is quite popular. So Sonny, uh, tell us how long you've been in Barnes. So in Barnes, I've been in last 13 years. I started my business from our, the store Barnes Express. One of the things that the pantry is known for is providing, as you say, those kind of niche products. So people yeah. come to you and they say, this is what we want. Well, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you provide you it. And that's just yeah. why yeah. the pantry is so popular. So Sunny, as an as a independent business owner with a number of businesses of your own in Barnes, why yeah. do you think it's really important that people support local businesses? It's because if we go first, big chains will come in. Yes. and there's no people attraction yes. there is it's just business yes and it's like a just a transaction but yes. that's is like otherwise and then there'll be empty high streets yes, yes. and when we don't want that no. and no. we've been known in britain for our communities mm -hmm. helping each other and then our high streets yes. flourish yes and yes. that's yes. why i think yeah. it's better to have independent retailers yes so now let's go and say hello to another of our fabulous local independent businesses. This is the Barnes Fish Shop and let's go and say hello to Michael. Hey Michael, how Hi, you doing? Nice right. to see you. Nice so, to see you. So, how long have you been in Barnes? 20 years 20 plus. Years. And serving the fabulous Barnes community yes, with all this wonderfully fresh yeah, a fantastic fish. place to work. Why do you think it's so important that residents support local businesses? Well, like to keep us all going. We're all independent. We've, we've all, we're all on our own and we need as much help as possible. Yeah. And a place like Barnes is a great place to work and live. So we can see this wonderful array yeah. of fish here. What's your most Well, it all depends on the day. Like in the week, it's a, it's a bit of salmon and some cod. And then the weekend trade, we've got halibut, we've got turbot, and sometimes we get a bit exotic, we have a few snappers. So Michael's also got a fabulous range of deli products. So what do you think yeah. is some of your most popular? Well, the popular one, we do a Scottish smoked salmon, which is slightly more smoky than a London smoke. We do two types. This is uh, an old Jewish company that's been going for at least 100 years. And this we hand carve as well myself here. And you can have any amount that you like. It's all done by hand rather than machine. And you've even got some frozen. Our frozen range are fantastic. All types of prawns we do, peeled and deveined, all for, all for, uh, for soups, stir fries and curries. We do squid, lobster tails, which are fantastic. We do our own stocks, our own seafood stocks, our own fish stocks, all made on the premises. I made the last batch, which is the best ever, but they might disagree. Do you have any messages for your customers? Oh, just buy lots of fish. We are here, we're open all week, we're open here till Sunday as well, so at least three, four o'clock. So come and buy your fish. So here we are up on the Carstenau Parade up by Hammersmith Bridge, and we have our lovely independent greengrocer, Dahlia, which serves the local community. And this is Tanir, who's one of the owners of this lovely business, and he's gonna tell us a little bit more about his shop. Hello. Tanner, hello. Well, How long have you been here? Uh, we, we, uh, six months. Six months? Yeah. And you're serving the local community with some nice fresh vegetables and fruit. You've got a nice wine selection I can see here. Yeah. What's your most popular 
items that you sell to residents locally? Uh, most popular is uh, vegetable. Vegetables? Uh, yeah, organic uh, wine. Organic wines? And then organic grocery. And what hours are you open? Seven o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then we close in the half nine. Okay, so you've got a long a long day. Yeah. And you find that you're busy in the evenings yeah. as people come home from work, presumably. Yeah. yeah. This time is organic wine. Organic? Yeah, okay. this side is above is organic. Uh -huh. And there's the local one. Uh -huh. And then this is the organic grocery. That side. Then it's a Great. organic fruit and veg. It's a gluten free beer. Organic beer is down there. Organic pasta, gluten free pasta. Fabulous range of pasta, yes. And then the shop's enormous. It continues around here. Herbs and spices, home products, dog food, frozen items as well. Yeah. Sweet. Everything you could possibly need. So, Tanya, have you got any messages for your wonderful customers? Yeah, it's that very, very friendly. Yeah. It's that thank you for my customers. So after all that shopping, I'm feeling a little bit tired and fancy a cup of tea and a piece of cake. So I'm going to take you and introduce you to Mariana, who's the owner of Orange Pico, our award-winning tea rooms. This is Mariana, who's the owner of Orange Pico. Hi everyone. The business started in 2006. So it's been well over 18 years now. Um, we predominantly started as a cafe serving brunch and lunch and We've always offered the full range of teas, um, which are available for retail or to drink in store. So at any one time, we'll have approximately 70 different teas available, loose leaf, and we sell those in the pouches for customers to take home. Uh, we also encourage people to sit down, enjoy some scones and have tea in-house so they can uh, be taught how to brew the teas as well. We've got about 70 teas available. They will range from black teas to green teas to white teas to herbal teas. Some of those will be caffeine free. This is one of my favourites this time of year. This is a chai tea uh, full of spice. Mm. Smells amazing. You'll find that customers will either come in here and know exactly what they're looking for, or they'll be the kind of customer that wants to come and explore and enjoy the journey. So as a local resident, I know that if I want a, uh, a lovely meal in a cosy environment with some friends, I would come to you um, for something to eat. Thank and you. So tell me a little bit about what you're trying to achieve with, with the restaurant. I think this is a huge part of my heritage. My father had restaurants as a child. That's what I grew up around. And obviously having a Greek mother, for me, the sound of cooking in the kitchen and the smells of homemade cakes was very a very normal thing to be coming home to. My Lovely. mum yeah. always had a very open house policy. There was always a pot of tea brewing and there was always a hot, fresh cake coming out of the oven. Um, so growing up for me, this is always something I wanted to replicate. For me, that, that felt very comforting and nurturing. And the sense of community we've established over the last 18 years has been phenomenal. Yes. All of that's lovely, but the most important thing is when you see your local customers and your regulars and the community um, popping in, there's nothing more satisfying. Well, that was delicious. I hope this little video has given you a bit of an insight into some of the fabulous food businesses we have to offer in Barnes. There is so much more, so come and try us out.